Okay, smiling. This is for you. Uh, no chin rest. Basic hold. Light. Like this. See? Like it could just fall. Yet you can do this with your hands. You don't have to touch it. If you touch it, it helps to support it. But it's so light that it's not absolutely necessary if you distribute the tension here. But if you distribute it, um, it's almost like the violin will be floating, as will uh, your bow. And uh, your hands will be um, caressing the violin and uh, articulating uh, up or down uh, in any direction that you want, at any angle that you want. Um, so in shifting, you know, I can do, let me see if I can get the, the best view for you, is um, shifting can be this way or this way, depending on what where you are in the music and what the position is of your violin. See, so it's either. And actually, you can do it without the thumb, but the thumb does help with the balance. And I don't pay attention to actually where the thumb is. It just goes where it needs to go. And you shouldn't get stuck anywhere, uh, because if you go up here, it depends on the shape of your hand, of course, but your thumb is not grasping it, it's just there lending a little leverage, support, up or down, but doesn't tighten, it's not, it's not a clamp. The fingers should be able to operate I mean, you're not going to play like this, but you should be able to, you know, vibrate on a string um, without, without holding it. But of course the vibrato will be much better if it's supported and balanced by the hand. Again, it's not in the V of my hand, but it's kind of touching the inner part of my first knuckle and uh, this, uh, you know, uh, the pad of my thumb and sometimes the side of my thumb um, but this complete freedom and again um, it's like a feather, it's uh, it's not, nothing is clamped, it's all light but uh, the points that you have in contact with the violin um, you distribute the tension such that you have total agility and uh, um, enough weight and balance so that you can get, you know, a good sound on the, on the notes.